Hi everyone, welcome to the sixth video of Redux Toolkit tutorial series. So previously, we have added our data into the Redux and in this video, we will fetch the data from the Redux state. So let's move to our homepage. So currently in the dashboard, we are using a mock data event data and now we will replace this event data from our Redux data. So to fetch the data from the Redux state, React Redux provide a hook that is use selector. So let's import the use selector from React Redux. Import something from React Redux and let's pass the use selector. Now we have to call the use selector inside our component. So inside this hook, we have to pass a selector function. Let's make an arrow function. And inside that arrow function, we will receive a parameter state. Let's console this state. So now let's go back to our application and check what state we are receiving. So in the state, we are getting a post. So this is the same post that we are setting inside the reducer. In the post, we have one post array. These posts array coming from this post initial state. So now we have to remove this console and we have to access state dot post dot posts. That's it. And we will take it. We are getting some error because of one bracket. We will remove it and we will take the state inside a variable event data and we will remove this event data. So now everything is good let's move to our application so let's refresh this now we don't have any post in the redux so let's add one of the post post name will be singing place galaxy galaxy 7 pm let's hit the submit button our post has been added into the Redux. Let's check. Now let's go to back to home. Our post has been displayed here. So that means we are correctly reading the data. Let's add one another post. Event name will be dance. Place will be Mars. And it should be Earth. And time will be 6 p.m. Hit the submit button. Second element has been added into the word Redux. Let's check the home. We are also getting this data. So that means we are successfully reading the data. So that means we are successfully reading the data from the Redux. So that's it for this video. So till now, we have created our first slice. We have created the action reducer. We have dispatched our action. We have accessed the Redux state. So a normal flow has been completed in the Redux toolkit. Now we will work on the thunk. So thunk is a middleware that is used to work with asynchronous code. So from the next video, we will work on create async thunk. Thank you for watching this video. Let's meet tomorrow.